At age 83, Tom Hines says his memory still serves him well. Not as good as it was uh, 25, 30 years ago, but uh, it's pretty good. Maintaining a healthy brain and avoiding dementia are top of mind concerns for Tom. Because I don't want to die the way my mother did. It was pretty sad. Tom hopes his activities like reading and part-time accounting work lower his risk. As an added step, he's volunteered to help Mayo Clinic researchers test an Alzheimer's disease prevention drug. You must be asymptomatic for Alzheimer's to qualify for the study. So I ain't got it. <laughs> What Tom and the other study participants do have are elevated levels of beta amyloid plaque accumulating in their brains. It can be seen using positron emission tomography or PET scan imaging. A special dye makes the amyloid deposits glow in shades of bright orange. There's a very long lag time between when that elevation begins to occur and when people develop symptoms, 15 to 20 years. So what if we're able to image somebody who's clinically normal, find that they have, say, the amyloid protein in the brain, treat that, try to remove that protein from the brain to prevent them from becoming clinically impaired down the road. A multi-site international study is trying to answer that question. Tom is one of about 1,100 people who will be studied in the A4 trial. Each month for three years, he'll receive an intravenous infusion into his bloodstream. In this study, uh, half of the people are getting the solanezumab, the active therapy, and half are getting a placebo. Solanezumab is an antibody, a form of passive immunotherapy that's intended to interfere with beta amyloid formation and perhaps even reverse it. Preliminary data have indicated that some of these antibodies are in fact effective at removing amyloid from the brain. In another clinical trial involving patients with more advanced disease, solanezumab's maker, Eli Lilly, recently announced that the drug failed to remove enough amyloid to be effective. However, Mayo researchers remain hopeful that the A4 trial might yield better results. There's a strong scientific rationale for doing this study. And it's different, it's fundamentally different than treating people who already have established Alzheimer's disease dementia. So I think that's the underlying thought is that the earlier we intervene, the better we will be and perhaps we can even prevent the disease. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Dota.